But what about those faiths, the Mormons and the others that you mentioned, believe in Christ? They believe they will meet Christ. What about those like the Jews, the Muslims, who don't believe as That's you believe? That's in God's hands. I can't be the judge. You don't judge them? No. No, I How do you feel when going to hell and you're, oh, I don't. How do you feel when you see a lot of these strong Christian leaders go on television and say, you are condemned, you will live in hell if you do not accept Jesus Christ? And they, they are forceful and judgmental. Well, uh, they have a right to say that, and they are, they are true to a certain extent, but I don't, that's not my calling. My calling is to preach the love of God and the forgiveness of God. And the fact that he does forgive us, that's what the cross is all about, what the resurrection's all about. That's the gospel. And you can get off on all kinds of different side trails. And uh, when I, in my earlier ministry, I did the same. But as I got older, I guess I became more mellow <laughs> and uh, more forgiving and more loving. And the Jerry Falls and people like that, I love them. I th Thank God for their ministry. He has a great university. And uh, two of three of my grandchildren have gone there. And they l have had a tremendous change in their lives for being there. And some of the other people are the same way, that on the other end of the uh, extreme. Ron Hill Nearboy here in New York years ago preached against me or spoke against me. I loved him with all my heart. I went to see him. And... Uh, all these people. Tell me, what do you think is the future of Christianity? I think everybody that, that loves Christ or knows Christ, whether they're conscious of it or not, they're members of the body of Christ. And that's what God is doing today. He's calling people for, out of the, the world for his name, whether they come from the Muslim world or the Buddhist world or the Christian world or the non-believing world. Uh, they are members of the body of Christ because they've been called by God. They may not even know the name of Jesus, but uh, they know in their heart that they need something that they don't have, and they turn to the only light that they have, and I think that they are saved and that they're going to be with us in heaven. This is fantastic. And I'm so thrilled to hear you say that. There is a wideness in God's mercy. There is. There definitely is.